hello guys welcome back to my channel it's joffrey noodle legs here today i'm here with sullivan here he is here he is hello everybody all right matey there he is little sullivan mm, isn't he beautiful uh today i've got a top 10 for you oh are you tired <laughs> beautiful boy i've got a top 10 for you as it's halloween i'm gonna go through and do my top 10 Halloween films. Now, these are um, all the Halloween films, all you know, the the actual Michael Myers and that franchise are amazing. Okay, I love them all, apart from the two um, Rob Zombie um, sort of reboots, which are not in here because I can't bring myself to put them into a, a, a Halloween top ten of mine. So. This is my 10 Halloween uh, films from the franchise in order of the my least favourite to my favourite. They're all good. They're all really cool. I really like them all. But this is the way I've done it. I've done from 10 to 1, from my least favourite to my favourite. Um, so number 10 is Resurrection. Now this one is based like um it's it's really not really a part of the franchise if you think really because they made it and the story continues after this film without this sort of thing happening so it kind of like doesn't fit into the franchise very well excuse me but it is a really fun movie about these um guys all going to the Myers house for the night to try and stay there for Halloween while it's been sort of streamed live. Um, and obviously Michael's there and, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it, but for a very, very small, small period in the film. And then she's sort of killed off. That's what made the film obsolete because then they re-released the, the next one, 2018 and she was alive. So it's just like, well, okay. So this film's a little bit obsolete from the collection, but it's still a good fun film, and that's number 10. Now, number 9. Now, I'm going to be showing some of these films as just a disc, because they're from my box set. Okay, so I can't be doing it like that, so I've taken the discs out, and I'll show you by the disc. So number 9 is Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I really love this film. It's really cool. It stars Tom Atkins, who I love. And this one um, is based around the uh, Silver Shamrock masks, Halloween masks, um, that sort of, um, sort of like all being sort of programmed to sort of like on Halloween to sort of like possess the kids and things like that and the people that wear them. Really, really cool film. Really good Halloween film. Yes, it's, no, it's not a part... It is a little bit a part of the Michael Myers um, uh, franchise. I'll get to that a bit later because the masks do show up in one of the films. So they have sort of linked it in. Um, but it's not like a, a big sort of story a part of the Halloween franchise. That's my number nine. Number eight is the Halloween five, the return of Michael Myers. A really good film, a really, really cool film. And again, he's stalking other family members and stuff in there. And it's a really, really good film. I do really like number five. It's really cool. I just couldn't put it any higher because I, I prefer the other ones. But it's a really cool. That's in at number eight, and that's Halloween five. Number seven is Halloween H2O. Uh, now, this one was based, again, um, after... Um, the curse this one is like when she's working at a school and she's got a kids there and and um, Michael's come back to stalk them there and it's it's a really cool film it is a really good sort of uh, episode in in the franchise not a lot of people's favorite ones but I think it has something special to it so I just got spooked then because on this side of that I've got affection and I can see Michael that's <laughs> mask in the reflection and it just freaked me out for a second there but i really enjoyed it i, I thought it's really quite intense and quite cool 
so that was my number seven number six is the return of michael myers halloween four really cool film i really really liked it um it's good to see him sort of coming back to sort of like the franchise this was like based after the third one and they brought michael back so that was quite cool it sort of carries on from halloween 2 it's a really really good film i do like halloween 4 really really cool so we're getting to my top five yep number five is halloween 2018 now this is one of more of the recent ones really really cool uh, michael's come back against st stalking uh, laurie and her family and it's a really really cool film and it sort of ends on like where they think that they've killed uh michael because she's built like a special trap in in her house uh, to sort of trap him um, and it's really really cool it's a really good slasher film um with a bit more modern effects uh, than the other ones you know the, the the recent ones are a little bit more gorier than the sort of earlier ones but it's still a really really cool film that's my fifth favorite halloween film my fourth favorite is number six and it's halloween the curse of michael myers i absolutely love this film i wanted to put it higher but i just couldn't and it, it's to me it's just one of the scariest i found this quite scary i don't know why i just did um I can't remember what year. I'm trying to find what year this one came out. Oh. Uh, can't remember. Anyway, this one was like when Michael's supposed to have been dead, but he's not. And, obviously, and, and also um, Donald Pleasance is in this one as well. It's a really, really cool film. That I absolutely love it. That is my fourth favourite Halloween film. Now, number th three, my third favourite Halloween film is Halloween 2 really love this one i did a review of the uh, 4k uh version of the film on my channel if you want to go back and look at it it's, uh, it's got a synopsis on there in my review and i gave that a good i think i gave it a nine out of ten uh because it's a great great film it is great all these now are 10 out of 10s really including this um it's a great film really really cool it continues straight after the original halloween uh, when Lloyd gets taken to the hospital and he stalks her in the hospital and it's the follow-up to like the original Halloween that is my third favorite Halloween film now my second one's controversial one is Halloween Kills I I absolutely loved this film I've watched it about four or five times now and quite a few horror um, fans don't really like it and I absolutely loved it I thought it was so cool. I loved the way I loved the beginning bit. I'm trying not to give too many spoilers, but the beginning bit where Michael takes on the whole fire department, and I loved the fact that he sort of unmasks himself slightly in the film, and they've aged him. I just loved that. It's fantastic. I love the premise of the story. Um, he was really, really cool. The only negative thing about the film, I think, was Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't in it enough. I just think, you know, she just wasn't in it enough. Um, I'd love to have seen her more in it. And it leads on to the new one, Halloween Ends, which is out, um, I believe, the end of this week. I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, check it out. I think it's in the cinemas on the 14th. So check that out. But I love Halloween Kills, don't we, Michael? Yeah. That's Michael Myers' mask from 2018 film. Really cool film. So that means, it can only mean one, can't it? That's my favourite Halloween. And it has to be the original. Um, the original 1978. Fantastic movie. John Carpenter's direction. Donald Pleasance, Jamie Lee Curtis. You know the story. Michael's escaped from his uh, institution after being put in there for killing his, his, his sister at home when he was young. And now he's back out, gone back to his town of Haddonfield to stalk the rest of the family members and go on a killing spree that's the story that's the classic horror that is the greatest halloween movie of all time it won't be beaten halloween ends might be amazing but it's not going to beat this still the greatest and it will always will be the greatest halloween movie and that is my halloween movies from worst to best now when i say worst 
It doesn't mean it's not good. It's awesome. Resurrection's awesome. Um, Season of the Witch is awesome. You know, I love these films. Five and four are brilliant films. H2O. They're all great, great movies. And if you chose to watch any of them on Halloween night, you're in for a great time because they're all amazing. It's just a fantastic franchise. Difficult to beat. I mean, yeah, I, you know my favourite is Jason, uh, the Friday the 13th franchise. That's my favourite. But Halloween is up there on a par, just a little bit under. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, I absolutely love that Halloween films. I always have done. I've watched them for so many years now, and I love them. Um, I really do. And my, I'm so happy my son, Lemon Lord, is so into the getting into horror big time now. He's really getting into it. And he's well into Halloween and Hellraiser movies, which is fantastic. It's so cool because it's something else I can share with him. You know, when he comes up and I go down and see him, we sit and we have horror movie fest. And what better father-son time is there than that? So as far as I'm concerned, every day is Halloween. It's up to you to make it that, you know. Halloween to me in my house is every day. I watch horror movies every day, given the chance. Guys, please go and check out some brilliant horror channels for me. Please go and check out Horror Hands. Fantastic. Go and check out I Am Ice Lord. Fantastic. Go and check out Pizzlewell. Fantastic. Check out Horror Geek. Um, horror in Todge. Sarah of Horror. Russell's RS Designs. Man V Film. Fantastic. And a special shout out to my son, Lemon Lord, from me and Sullivan, and from obviously Michael. Until next time, guys, look after yourselves. Have an awesome Halloween. Watch one of these. If, you, if you're stuck for something to watch, watch one of these. Personally, I think I'm going to be watching the original uh, When a Stranger Calls on uh, Halloween, because I've not seen it for a little while, and I quite fancy watching that. So that might be my go-to film this Halloween. But whatever you do, be safe, have a fantastic time, and look after one another. And I really hope I'll see you all soon.